Hello, respected experts and scholars. I am Liu Mingne, a student from Nanjing Normal University. Today, the topic I will talk about is analysis of spatial temporal evolution patterns in the green development of cluster type cities, a case study of Zibo City in China. I will present my presentation in four parts. First part is about my research background. Over the past 30 years, China has made significant achievements in urbanization. Like the diagram shows, the urbanization rate of China has a substantial increase. However, the extensive mode of development has led to an amount of environmental issues. So, at the 19th National Congress, the country proposed the idea of shifting the economy from high-speed growth to high-quality development, as well as promoting green development to build an ecological civilization. As for my research object, cluster type cities, as the picture shows, composed of independent clusters. Additionally, cluster type cities represent a unique urban spatial configuration. On the contrary, this characteristic of urban space brings numerous challenges in promoting urban green development. For this reason, I chose Zibo City as my research area. Zibo City is a resource-oriented cluster-type city. At the same time, Zibo City is an industrial base in China with an industry-led economy. Due to the city's pillar industries, such as smelting and chemical production, Zibo City faces the conflict between economic development and environmental protection. Besides, Zibo is in the initial eight stages of green transformation. So an assessment and research in Zibo City can guide its future development. It is also can provide a model for other resource-oriented cluster type cities. For the methodology, I use the entropy weight method to calculate indicator weights more objectively. And the TOPSIS model systematically ranks the data. In the construction, I measure the level of green development through the three main functions of urban land, manufacturing function, ecosystem function, and the living function. The detail of my indicator system are shown in the table on the right. According to the results, the green development level of districts in Zibo City from 2014 to 2021 generally shows an upward trend albeit with significant annual fluctuations. In terms of total quantities, Zhangdian, Lingzi, and Zichuan have higher green development indices. Boshan, Gaoqing, Yuyuan has low green development indices. On a temporal scale, the green development level of Zibo city can be divided into two phases, with 2018 as the boundary. In the first phase, Urban development was primarily driven by new urbanization construction. Some districts have an upward trend in their indices because the government expanded its efforts to economic development and environmental construction. However, with the energy consumption and environmental pressure brought by high-speed growth, the indices of some reason fail. In the second phase, the government policies shift from high speed to green and high quality development. Zibo City enacted a policy for increasing the use of clean energy, reducing high polluting factories called three increases and three reductions policy. This resulted in an improved level of urban environmental construction. Green development policies have had a certain impact on the pillar industries of Zibo city, causing the decrease of GDP in some regions. But with the development and promotion of green technologies, the economic development of Zibo city has gradually recovered. In terms of spatial distribution, the level of green development in Zibo city exhibits an imbalance, with the high level in the central part and the lower levels in the northern and the southern parts. This is primarily due to the relative independence among the clusters in the cluster type city. At the core hub of Zibo city, the central area exhibits a higher level. On the one hand, Zhoucun and Huantai 
driven by the central area, demonstrate an increasing level of green development. On the other hand, Boshan and Yiyuan, located in the southern region with fragile environment, show fluctuations in their level of green development between medium and low, due to the geographical barriers and a decreasing effect from the central area. In conclusion, this study used the entropy weight method, topsis model, to measure the urban green development of Sibu city and analyze and analyze the spatial temporal evolution patterns of green development in China in Zibu city. In terms of temporal evolution, the green development level of district in Zibu city exhibits a trend of fluctuating growth, with the quality of economic growth and the level of environmental construction being the primary influencing factors, especially an imbalance of green development is apparent across the Zibo city. For future development, it is essential to formulate tailored development policies according to the characteristics of each district. It is also important to strengthen the connections among these areas to promote integrated regional development. This is all my presentation. Thank you for your attention.